Hello again to you, my fellow marine hobbyists. Welcome back to Craft Aquatic. I'm Matt G. It's been quite a while since any of us have been to any large swaps, reef events, even small get-togethers. Well, here I am at Reef Apalooza 2021 with a mission. My goal is to film each and every vendor at Reef Apalooza 2021. So even if you didn't make this historic, back from the brink of a pandemic event, maybe this video will make it feel like you did. You'll definitely want to grab your favorite beverage and or snack for this one, since we are about to adventure to wrap New York and visit each and every booth on the floor. With that said, please do take a moment to subscribe to Craft Aquatic. I promise it will be worth your while. On with the show. I arrived here about an hour early and the line is already flowing out the door. This is the last time bracket for the New York show on Sunday, so I'm really hoping there will still be plenty of great products and eye candy to film. I have to wait in line with everyone else, no special treatment for me. All this filming is for you craft aquatic fans with no pressure to meet any requirements of any sponsors or vendors. I have a goal today, it's not an easy one, but I'm going to do my best to capture a little slice of every vendor setup, starting with the merch table right here. And I've already spotted one of my favorite reef content creators here in line capturing interviews, Jeremy from Reef News Network. If you're not into podcasts, just get into them because RNN is awesome and puts out interesting and engaging reef related content weekly. The time has arrived. It is time for the show. Everyone is streaming in with that familiar look on their faces. That look that says, happy to be here, but where do I go first? What do I do? Everyone is ready to find that perfect product in Coral, interested in hearing about the new industry tech. This is definitely an event to attend at least once if you are a true fanatic. I'm going to start at the right front of the venue and try my best to keep everything in order. Here we have Josh Pork Sandwich. He is a vendor and reef artist. Uh, he's working on some zoantha themed art. The booth is stunning and as you can imagine, it is hard to describe the colors in person. Moving on to Mod Corals here, nice clean modern setup. I wanted to point out the creativity as this reef themed art focusing on reef predators. Plus, Kill Arts is such a great name. I happen to be a fan of eShops. I use an eShop sump. The design, build quality, and price are just right, and this new line of sumps looks really solid. Great to see them doing a giveaway. I believe this is an entire eShop setup at a really good price point. There may be an RNN episode that mentions that. Should have checked, but either way, very nice. I'm gonna dive in with a coral cam on some of these booths. Everyone brings the heat to these shows, but I'm here to show you some of the products and livestock that really stand out. I love Refrax. I use them myself. I bought two at the show. To me, there is no comparable product in this category. I like frag tanks that are jam-packed with livestock, just like anyone, but also really appreciate a well-thought-out presentation with a few choice coral. High and tenuous in this case. Rachel Fogel, Reef Weeds, the OG reef artist. Just beautiful. Need I say more? You'd think that being the last show on a Sunday, there would be shortage of coral. I don't know how these vendors stay so stocked up, but I can't imagine what it was like on Saturday morning if there was actually more coral in these frag tanks. I have friends who are graphic artists and I really appreciate seeing the different poster designs. There's one really clever one coming up in a bit. Let's see if you can pick out the one I am referring to in the comments below. David's Aquariums had this big chunky Space Invader Pectinia and some beautiful Sunburst Nems. And Trash Panda had a very nice rock anemone display. So cool seeing them in these little black cups under the blue LEDs. They glow like crazy. Well done. 
Okay, so shout out to Iconic Aquariums. This shop is in Tenafly, New Jersey, and it is a go-to for me when I'm looking for a very specific, healthy, high-end piece. I probably spend way more money there than I should, but it is awesome. And if you're nearby, definitely check it out. It's a rare find. There were some really nice products and gift certificates being raffled off by many of the vendors here, but I'm not going to dive too much into that in this video. So that was just the first row of vendors. I hope you're not out of popcorn yet. There's a ton of great stuff coming up. Everybody knows Jason Fox always brings the heat. You could probably pick out several of his OG strains being sold out of most of the tanks in this venue. I'm sure he's selling some of their coral as well. It's really how we propagate those rare and beautiful strains to the point where they become affordable. While conserving and maintaining coral diversity in the hobby, this is going to become more and more important, especially as specific regions further restrict what we can collect from the wild. I really like some of the pieces in this tank, especially the bounce mushroom next to the OG bounce with the green and yellow hue. I do not plan on purchasing any livestock today. I have my hands pretty full. I'll probably kick myself later while editing this video thinking, why didn't I get that piece? I've really been loving rainbow chalice lately and Moss has some of the nice big healthy chunky frags here. Greg's Corals is another one of those vendors that focuses on super high-end pieces. I feel like I always see the most serious collectors around his table. Honestly, one of the most well-curated collections I've seen here and back at Frag Farmer's Market in March of 2020. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Coral Lust only had one product left, but at a very good price. I love this horseshoe crab tank at Coral Craze. Also, I really appreciate reefers that take the time to develop 3D printed products that fill those gaps in what is not available. I was given this five gallon bucket handle to try out. I've already huffed a bucket of water with it and it really is one of those things you didn't know you really needed. Love it. Me Booth, just a bunch of standard products that we all need. Let me know in the comments if you use this brand. I'm curious about what angle they're taking with these products. Yet another healthy, clean coral display with affordable chunky bread and butter frags, gingerbread corals. Most of us know about Aquarium Specialty. They had a product that really stood out to me given the sheer quality of the material used and the versatility in design. The skimmer is very beautiful. You have to touch this PVC to feel the quality. The reactor is set up in this shot to grow Kato, but also can be reconfigured to work with nearly any product you want to run. Very nice stuff, very innovative. Personally, the kind of quality and design I'd like to see more of. Ecotech Marine and Aqualumination are two companies most of us are familiar with. Great products, not the cheapest, but my MP40 has been running for many years now, so worth the price of entry. I have a Nero 5, which I like quite a bit, but seeing this Nero 3 in person, amazing how small it is. Real Reef Solutions products are looking quite nice under these Expo Center lights. 
and here is the Worldwide Corals booth, always busy for a good reason. Frost had some very nice NPS or non-photosynthetic Gargonian on display. I didn't catch the name of these two fine reps, but I'm going to say that they win the award for outstanding personalities, really fun people. There were a few empty booths at the show, not sure if they just didn't show up or if it's because this is the 2pm session on Sunday, but it's worth noting that I did not document most of the empty booths here because that would quite frankly be kind of boring. The Two Little Fishies booth always draws me in. I love the level of sophistication that Julian Sprung and his partner bring to the show. You will no doubt always find a few buckets of healthy mangroves and some well-designed products. I can really appreciate the design, balance, and form factor of these LG eraser tools. Sort of a freshwater hobby-esque sleek looking item. They appear to be titanium, but are in fact a high quality stainless steel. According to Julian, they should be available to purchase very soon. I love Tropical Fish Magazine and their rep was very fun indeed. The name Clam Mania totally sums it up for this vendor. All vibrant and healthy clams and only clams at very reasonable prices. I did an interview with one of the reps from Millionaire Coral in my Reefa Palooza 2019 video. There's a very cool story here. I'll put a link to that video below if you want to check it out. There's already some coral camp footage from the Moss Reef tanks earlier in this video, as you might remember. Ultra Corals had a nice variety of frags available, mid to high end. I'm going to spend a little bit of time with the Coral Cam exploring this tank. Some vendors had discount coral available. I feel I saw more of that at this show than past years. It's nice that there's something available to hobbyists just starting out or reefers on a budget. Reefco has a store in New Jersey that I've yet to check out. Perhaps I'll take a trip to the area to document this and several other stores in a future video. Let me know if that is something you'd be interested in the comments below. Here at Coven's Coral Cove, I see they have some standout lobophilia available. Reef to Reef is here with a raffle and some free giveaways. Everybody loves some free stuff, especially those glasses for viewing. And you know, more people should give away towels. They're very handy. 
There are a couple nice display tanks set up, two of which are at the Neptune Systems booth for a very good reason, which you'll see in a moment. The display tanks were showing off Neptune Systems' new sky LEDs. I set the white balance to give you a good representation of what the sky LED looks like over this display tank. A very T5 feel to the light, in my opinion. Here you can see how the LEDs are arranged. Nothing too uncommon there. Where it does differ a bit is the fact that the fixture is a square rather than a rectangle and incorporates built-in diffusion. Overall, a very nice looking fixture. Aquarium Care Center had some halodariums and terrariums on display. It was kind of a nice break from all of the reef aquariums. If you watch my channel, you know I love to keep plants around my main display. I believe it is healthy to have plants in your home and does benefit the aquarium itself by taking up CO2. Plants are just a good thing. Pet Pets is another fantastic vendor located in Vernon, Connecticut. It's definitely worth a trip to their store if you are ever in the area. They also had this nice little setup with a bunch of little fishies. We are heading on into the last few aisles of vendors here at Reef Palooza New York 2021. I hope this has been entertaining so far. I do not think the show is in any way slowing down. I see people with bags of coral and dry goods everywhere. Let's see what else there is to see. Reef Breeders combines budget-minded design with innovative products and customer service, a stand-up company in this industry. There are a few people taking a load off at the social media lounge. I can see myself doing the same in a little bit. Pacific East has some nice pieces and good prices. Let's take a closer look. Manhattan Aquariums gets another shout out. This was one of the first stores that I frequented when I moved to New York City so many years ago and is still an incredible place to shop for livestock and coral. Check out the video I made about this must-see LFS in the description below. It's a good one. I run CJ pumps for all of my returns and reactors. They are made in Italy, easy to clean, come in all different sizes. They have some of their circulation pumps on display, along with their Wi-Fi enabled DC pumps. Just a solid, reliable brand at the right price point. I dig the compact, high impact design of the Ultra Corals booth. So cool, Coral's very nice too. I haven't tried these yet, but I hear really good things about the new HANA high range checkers. I do use a HANA checker for testing phosphate once a week, and I've had good luck with that. Also, candy. Okay, Ultra Corals and Zoanthids one more time, just because their booth is so fun. I was told that there was something like 10 times this amount of dry rock at most vendors' booths had I come Saturday morning. I do not envy the job of some of these vendors, but do appreciate their hard work. So here we have a display coming up showing off the Blu-ray Pro by Aquarium Partners. I kind of really like this design. Uh, just an array of LEDs without individual lenses and a nice thick piece of acrylic to protect the array. It looks cool. Super light aluminum passive heat sink. In some ways, this is the design I've been waiting for. I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on this product and others like it. Hopefully there will be more.
There are so many quality vendors here today, but right here we have my personal favorite coral vendor at Reefapalooza 2021, Reef Republic. I like the personal touch and selection. The two guys running the booth were communicative, passionate about coral, and very knowledgeable. And every piece of coral felt to be something that was grown with lots of attention to detail. If I were here looking for some high-end pieces today, this is one of the vendors I would not pass up. You can't really have a reef show without a good dry goods vendor, and Dirks is definitely that vendor. They have a little bit of everything you might be looking for, and probably even a little bit more. So close to the end here at Reef of Palooza New York 2021 and still lots of deals to be had. This year you could really come to a show like this and purchase enough coral to significantly kick off a new setup. I've been really impressed with the, especially the livestock available this year. I don't know, it's kind of like there was something going on in the world where people had some time to grow tons of amazing coral. Who knows? All right, joking aside, we have arrived at the very last vendor on the floor, and it is a good one. Ocean State Aquatics is one of the coolest stores out there. I know from my experience seeing them at shows like Frag Farmer's Market and here at Rap New York, unfortunately, I have yet to visit their retail space. I hear they also have a very nice coral farm. Visiting OSA is top of my reef-related to-do list and will happen very soon. So that is it. We have reached the end. We have done it. That is every single vendor at Reef of Palooza New York 2021. If I forgot one, please do let me know in the comments below. I am sorry. Thank you for hanging in there. Everyone puts a lot of work into these shows, and it is important to acknowledge their efforts. If there was a vendor that stood out to you in this video, I have made a list of all of them below. You can easily find their website or retail space and support them that way as well. And of course, please do take the time to subscribe to this channel. Craft Aquatic is the name. Hit the thumbs up and leave a message below. There are dozens of reef related videos on our channel and more to come. I'll see you on the next one.